Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is going to be very important. Uh, we are going to learn how to convert rows into columns and vice versa, basically columns to rows. Okay, so this is basically we call it a pivoting and unpivoting as well. But uh, there, see in SQL Server, they are pivoting and unpivoting functions, but we will not be using it because they are not standard functions like they will be there in some databases and not in some databases. And also there is some syntax which you have to remember. So we are not going to discuss those functions, but we will see how we can do without using those functions. Okay, so let's start this video. So uh, this is my input data set basically. So uh, for each employee, I have the salary component and how much it is basically in the well column. So employee ID 1 has salary 10,000, bonus of 5,000 and hike percent is 10. Again, for employee ID 2, I have three rows for the three salary component. Again, for employee ID 3, I have three components. Okay, so this is how my input is, but it doesn't look so good, right? Your, so your manager asks you that, can you convert this data to look like this? Because if you see this, this looks better, right? For employee ID 1, you can directly say salary is this, bonus is this, high percent is this. So how you can do that? Okay, so, so uh, we will write a SQL now to convert this input into this kind of form. Okay, so let's start. So this is my table. Okay, so I will start with, so in output what I need, I need employee ID, salary bonus hike percent, right? So I will take employee ID. Okay, comma. I will put case statement here. So I have to create three columns, three new columns, right? Salary bonus hike percent. So for each column, I will create a, uh, I will write a case statement. So case when, is when salary component type equal to salary and well and as I will create new column the new new column name I am giving as salary we will see how it will look like okay similarly I will create it for other two components, so it will be bonus. This will be high percent. Again, I will name column as bonus, and this column name is high percent. Okay, so I created three columns. Now, if I run this, how it will look like? Okay, so we have three new columns, you see right so for the first row so okay let's see the original table and then we will compare then it will make more sense okay so here if you see what we have done, we have done three columns and wherever there was salary, the salary value is coming, other two values are null because for bonus and hike percent, for bonus and hike percent, the salary is null, right? So similarly, for each row, in each row, we have one value and other values are null, right? So what we have to do, if you see for each employee ID, I need one one row only right so what i will do i will do a group see other two values are anyway null so i can just sum this column right and it will give me salary bonus high percent again if i sum this based on employee id this will be some this will be some this will be some okay so what i will do now i will do group by because i need output at employee id level i will do group by and i will put this in sum so this is a very important thing using case statement with sum. Okay, there will be a lot of use cases, interview questions. So you definitely should practice case when with sum. Okay. I do this. That's it. I will get the result. 
I got a result. Employee ID one, salary ten thousand, bonus five thousand, high percent ten. So this is how we can simply pivot the data. Okay. Hope this is clear. Now we will move on to unpivot. So let's say my data is like this, and why I want to make it like the the original whatever we saw in the original table like this. So we want to do from here, go from here to here. This we call unpivoting. Okay. So what I will do, so there is a way, so this is the result of a query. I can create a table from this result. Okay. So how I can do, so I can just select this, this, this into my new table. But yeah. So it will uh, this table would have been created. So this is how you can create a table also from a uh, select query. Okay. Now how will I unpivot it? I will use union. Simply I will say select emp underscore id comma. Uh, so salary as salary component type so my component type is salary so i will take well as sorry salary as well right so if i run this so you see for all three employees we get got salary component type and well also right similarly we just have to do the same for the other two component and union it all all this will be salary second was my bonus and bonus will be yeah this is fine and this and this will be bonus okay and third one is high percent this will be high percent as well so if i run this I got the required output. So if you see employee ID one, employee ID one, employee ID one, we got three rows, right? If you want to see it in a particular order, like to start from here, order by I'm just doing ordering. So salary bonus hike percent for the employee ID one. Hike percent bonus salary. It might not be in same order, but that doesn't matter. So I hope this is clear. So you can just simply use sum with case when to convert from rows to column and uh, reverses column to rows that you can use using using union all. So hi, I hope this is clear. This is very important concept, especially the first one. This you will be using multiple times in your job or many questions will be asked in interview also based on this case case when with some this is very very important so I would say that please practice this and do let me know if you have any doubt I am happy to clear I can solve more questions if you want based on this concept okay do let me know in the comment section and please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching it.